if you've been following me, you know that I have a passion for better health. And throughout learning different ways to improve my health, I've learned about parasites and data as well. Now, if you've seen my parasite video, where I go over all the ins and outs about parasites, how to get them, the symptoms of them, and how to treat them, I also mention candida and the fact that it, where you have parasites, you probably have candida. And where you have candida, you probably also have a parasite infection. So with this video, I wanted to go into more detail about how I myself have treated my candida, or at least got it into like a maintenance uh, mode, instead of having full-blown, over-the-top candida infection. So, candida is a yeast. It's a yeast that's found in your body, and within normal boundaries, when you have a a good healthy supply of candida within your body it is good for your body it helps with all kinds of things digestion related and whatnot but what happens is is through the standard American diet through taking birth control and by taking antibiotics the candida within your body becomes exacerbated it grows and through that you get overgrowth which not only can infect your gut and your intestinal system but you can also experience things like thrush where you get a buildup of candida on your tongue you can get um, athlete's foot toenail fungus all of those things are related to candida so it's important to have your candida under control but for most individuals and humans on this planet or at least within America my belief is that most people are dealing with a candida infection and they don't even realize it because the symptoms of candida mask so many other symptoms of other really bad health problems and so while we're trying to treat IBS with X Y and Z what we fail to realize is is that underneath underlying all of the IBS symptoms or what have you is actually a for candida overgrowth which isn't being treated so we're really just band-aiding it so if you are suspecting that you might have candida it's good to know that some of the symptoms include you know as I mentioned athlete's foot ringworm toenail fungus fatigue fibromyalgia bloat constipation and diarrhea uh, lupus so a lot of autoimmune problems are related to uh, underlying candida issue so we got lupus ulcerative colitis rheumatoid arthritis Hashimoto's psoriasis and MS also a symptom of candida is a lack of focus and brain fog you will also see different skin issues so like eczema psoriasis as I mentioned and you'll have yeast infections. So if you have chronic yeast infections and you just fucking, <laughs> you just, I'm sorry, you just can't treat it with, you know, like cranberry juice or whatever it is that your doctor prescribed you, chances are you have a candida infection that just is not being treated. Uh, you also, like I mentioned, will have thrush, mood swings, depression, and anxiety all tie into this because Candida is rooted within your gut and your gut is what they call your second brain So if your gut is all out of whack with either parasites and candida All of that is going to throw off your mood So if you have candida and you're experiencing anxiety and depression and You just can't figure out where it's coming from. I encourage you to look into doing some kind of candida cleanse and not only that, but strong sugar cravings are also connected to candida. So things that have helped me. So I never really had issues um, as of the last like 10 years with my diet. I have been very, you know, I've been on a plant-based whole foods diet. But in the past, what has exacerbated my candida has been antibiotics and being on birth control a very long time. So I had a crazy candida buildup that I'm still actually kind of dealing with because in the morning I have a buildup of just nastiness on my tongue. 
what you have to do if you have a candida issue and your health, your what you're putting into your body isn't on point, it doesn't necessarily have to ever be perfect because perfect, you know, that doesn't exist. But what you need to do is you need to migrate over to a more whole foods, plant-based diet which means you get rid of the standard American diet, which is filled with a bunch of sugary shit. You know, processed foods, simple carbs, donuts, pastries, all of that kind of stuff is exacerbating and making your candida worse. And not only that, but it's also feeding parasites too. So if you want to improve your gut and get rid of the candida within your system, it really boils down to getting healthy and making sure that you're fueling your body with foods that your great grandmother would recognize. So food straight from the earth. And then not only that, but I also recommend limiting alcohol. Alcohol definitely feeds candida. So if you are dealing with candida issues, eliminating alcohol, eliminating the simple sugars in your diet, and eating more leafy greens, more foods that your great grandma will know to be, oh hey, that's food, because I guarantee grandma isn't gonna know what the hell a Twinkie is. So with that being said, uh, some things that have helped me is I take a probiotic, so this is a probiotic I take every single day. This has helped re-up all of the healthy gut flora that has been diminished thanks to birth control and antibiotics. And because when taking antibiotics and birth control, when it messes with your gut flora and kills off some of the healthy bacteria that help to confi or confine your candida and slow the growth down, when you kill that stuff off, then that allows this atmosphere for candida to thrive, especially if you're eating sugary foods. So you need to replenish your gut health with a good probiotic. So I use Garden of Raw 100 billion probiotic. Um, and then not only that, but I also use an enzyme. So the enzyme helps to break down foods that your body's eating. So the enzyme is very important. Another thing I use is Paw Diarco tea. I'm pretty sure I butchered the, you know, how you say that. But I use this tea because it has antifungal properties. So if you're looking to correct your candida, this is a must. I drink one tea packet every single day. And then finally, something that helps me is berberine. So berberine is this yellow little pill I take. So this is it. And what this essentially does is it helps you to digest better. It uh, helps gastrointestinal function. And um, I also wanted to include diatomaceous earth also helps. So diatomaceous earth not only helps with candida, but it also helps with parasites as well. So if you are dealing with fatigue, fibromyalgia, constipation, you have skin issues, uh, if you are dealing with chronic yeast infections and nothing is working, any kind of autoimmune uh, disease, I encourage you to look more into candida. Just don't go off by what I said, okay? I'm not a doctor, I just play one on social media, but I encourage you to do your research, learn more about it, and also if you feel that this does align with you, please check out my website, thekellyhanner.com, in which I share all about enemas, uh, parasites, candida, and all kinds of holistic, healthy, hippie mumbo jumbo stuff. So if you found this to be really valuable, please give this a like, a thumbs up, comment below on anything else that you need help with. Please share it with a friend and subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much. Peace, guys.